welcome to the Cuban workshop. Um, this is where I hang out, uh, restoring, repairing my own uh, collection of antique cues, and I make the cube arm itself, um, which is put together through a process of steam distillation. But more about that in another video. Uh, in this video, we're simply going to go through how to apply the balm um, and how to polish it up. We, I get a lot of questions from people who kind of all naturally tend to overthink things sometimes. I get a lot of questions from people, um, how much should I use, well, how much is too much, how much is not enough, uh, how long should it be on, uh, etc. So I'm just going to run over that today, um, but it really couldn't be simpler. There are two uses for the balm, once as a cleaner um, for all the cues in, in, in poor condition, but um, for your own playing cue, it really couldn't be simpler. Um, when you get the balm, I've got here some Lynch's balm, a bit of soft microfiber cloth. Uh, I normally use a workshop jar for uh, treating cues around here, but um, it will come to you in a little, usually come to you in a little box. I need a rag. Um, any old rag, even a piece of kitchen towel will, will do the job. So, inside your box you'll find some instructions which basically go over what I'm going to tell you now. And a little tin of Lynch's balm, which hopefully you can see there. Open up the tin, and all we're going to do a finger in a rag and just wipe a small amount of the balm onto the rag. Hopefully you can see there how much we're talking about. It's not very much at all. All we really want to do is to put a very thin smear of it down the shaft. Actually that one's already been done. Let's grab another cue. So, a um, little bit of balm on your finger, hold the cue by the ferrule, we don't want to get it on the tip, uh, won't really do any harm, it's all natural products, but um, you don't really want to get any product on your, on your tip. And we're going to wipe and turn, just wipe it on, turn, just put it a little around below the ferrule. literally just really thin smear down the clean surface where your bridging hand goes. I'm now going to put that away for 10 minutes, drink some tea and we'll be back. Okay, welcome back. Uh, Q's now been standing for 10 minutes. I'm going to take soft cloth, this is a Lynch's microfiber, um, which we do in the gift and uh, combo set, but any soft dry cloth will do this job. Uh, we tried um, cotton based cloths, we tried tight microfiber cloths like you use for a lens or, or glasses, we just found that this soft microfiber um, buffs easier. So, same sort of thing, I'm going to put my finger in the cloth to start with. I'm going to use the same motion as I did before. And that's really just to make sure there's no little blobs or lumps of the balm still left on there. And if there is, we're going to even them out. Okay, at this point, when after the 10 minutes, you can still feel a tiny little bit of tackiness from the product. Um, what's going to happen now is we're just going to take the cloth and we're going to buff. And it's just going to buff up to a real glass like finish, a really super smooth, silky finish through the hand. Basically, the longer we buff, the longer it's going to, the smoother it's going to be. So what's actually happening is some of the product during that 10 minutes is being absorbed into the cube and that 
does provide some level of nourishment to the queue because it's all natural products, uh, natural oils and waxes in there. So that does provide some level uh, of nourishment for the queue and, and, and work does help to stop it getting dry and the grain opening and these little splits that you sometimes find under the ferrule etc. So buff it up, give it a good buff for a couple of minutes. The more you buff, the smoother it's going to be. That's basically ready. You can feel already. And now that's super smooth through the bridging hand. I'll bring it over to the camera but I'm not sure how much you can see but um, it does leave a really nice sheen on the queue and that really is uh, super smooth through the bridging hand. So you should feel pretty much it, well an instant difference to any queue and what's going to happen is over a few weeks depending on how often you play two three four weeks what's going to happen is you're going to wear through the balm so some of the product has been absorbed into the queue the rest of it has dried it's clear it's non abrasive um, the rest of it is dried in the tiny little cracks of the grain we looked under a microscope you can see so it, so it effectively reduces the surface porosity of the grain um, what will happen over two or three weeks is you'll basically wear through it it's like a microscopic skin and that's what we're buffing you'll basically wear through it and the cue will go back to feeling exactly the same as it did um, before you applied the balm in the first place ten minutes ago um, and that's the time to just reapply a little bit more so it's real simple um, take a little bit on a rag don't overuse it a little bit wipe, wipe it down around the shaft from underneath the ferrule leave it 10 minutes buff it up with a soft cloth the longer you buff it the smoother it'll be and that should last you two or three weeks there you go hope that's answered your questions um, if you like the video please subscribe to our channel and i'll see you soon on the next video thank you